Hey guys, it's Jimmy. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Enlightened Equipment Revelation Quilt, which I've had for the past year and is my go-to quilt for all my adventures. Like any review that I do, I always thoroughly test the equipment before I produce the review. In this case, I've tested the Enlightened Equipment Revelation Quilt for over a year now in a bunch of different conditions, ranging from minus 5 degrees Fahrenheit in winter conditions to mountaintops where it was 40 degrees and windy. When buying this quilt, you have the choice of buying it off the shelf or buying a custom version where you can choose your own colors, size, fill type, and temperature rating. My Revelation quilt is a forest green and navy color combo with 850 fill power dry down. I'm 5 foot 9, about 160 pounds, and so I got the regular length which is just fine for my height, and I got a wide quilt because I want to make sure that there's enough space for layering when I camp in winter conditions. My quilt is rated for 10 degrees Fahrenheit at the lower limit, although this rating is not strictly EN, but it's just um, what Enlightened Equipment thinks is comparable to the EN lower limit. My Revelation quilt weighs 23.1 ounces, but keep in mind that there is some variation during manufacturing. A year ago, I paid $270 for my Revelation quilt, although now the price for the exact same specifications would cost you $305. All right, let's talk about what I like about my Enlightened Equipment Revelation quilt. And starting off is number one, which is comfort. I bought a quilt not only to save weight, but actually because they ended up being more comfortable for me than sleeping bags. I'm a pretty erratic sleeper. Sometimes I sleep on my back, sometimes I sleep on my side, but with all this twisting and turning at night, it's really helpful for me to separate my body insulation from my head insulation. I like that I can cinch the Revelation quilt around my neck seal off any drafts, and then I can twist my head and turn around as I please at night. The second thing I like about this quilt is the weight. Now a lot of people look at the total weight of the quilt, but I personally prefer to look at just the shell weight of an unfilled quilt, which is to say if you took the total weight of the quilt and subtracted out the amount of down fill, you're left with the shell weight. After normalizing for size and features, the Enlightened Equipment Revelation quilt has one of the lower shell weights among quilts and sleeping bags alike. I also like the compressibility of this quilt. As you can see, it packs down nice and small, and this is just a regular stuff sack. If you used a compression sack, you could definitely press it down even more. I also like the pad attachments, sort of. They work well, but they do add some weight. Each one weighs about 0.4 ounces. The clips aren't the easiest to undo, but they work. And normally I don't carry both straps, I just carry the strap that secures my quilt to my sleeping pad. The Revelation quilt is fully reversible. This is nice in case you get bored of one color and you want to switch to the other, or if you want to use a more flamboyant color as a signaling device on one side, or even if you just want to better blend into your surroundings with one side. Number six, the baffles. I like that they work and that they can help concentrate down in areas where I need them. Also, little known fact, you can actually distribute the down to and from different chambers through this narrow gap down the middle. When my quilt arrived, I felt that there was a bit too much down along the perimeter, and so I redistributed that down towards the center of my quilt. And finally, I actually like the durability of this quilt. I've had no issues with it despite a fair amount of twisting while I'm sleeping on it, and then yanking apart the snaps and buckles. The fabric does a nice job of containing the down, although occasionally you'll find a stray plume here and there. Okay, now let's talk about some of the things that I wish were a little better with this quilt. The first is a drafty footbox. The Revelation quilt has an adjustable footbox, which you can cinch down when it gets cold. However, there is a little gap that's formed, and no matter how hard I tighten it, the gap is still there. It's really noticeable in cold weather, and normally I have to stuff, you know, the stuff sack or an extra pair of socks or something, and even then I can still feel the cold coming in. The second thing I don't like is the clammy fabric. I always wear long layers when I'm sleeping because I hate the clammy feeling of some fabrics directly on my skin. While the Tendi fabric and the Revelation is breathable, it's also very clammy against the skin. And the final issue that I have is related to the temperature rating. Now I don't really think that the temperature rating is an issue specific to the Revelation quilt, but rather just a shortcoming with temperature ratings in general. From personal experience, I've found that I tend to feel comfortable at temperatures roughly 10 degrees Fahrenheit higher than that lower limit, um, but this even fluctuates depending on how hard I hike that day. 
Most experienced backpackers will know that rather than trusting that manufacturer's temperature rating, um, they should look towards you know, the fill type and the fill amount, the fabric type and weight, and then design elements like baffles and cut. And they also know that the amount of insulation needed to feel warm and comfortable varies from individual to individual. The way that I think about my sleep insulation is that I want something which will help keep me warm as my metabolism drops overnight and as temperatures drop overnight. But considering the fact that I will be wearing camp clothing and that I can wear that clothing to bed with me, it's not imperative for me to know what the exact temperature rating is, but rather how much additional warmth that this quilt will give me. At the end of the day, the Enlightened Equipment Revelation quilt is a quilt, like a lot of other down quilts. However, as far as quilts go, I think that Enlightened Equipment did a really good job with the Revelation quilt. Alright, and that's my full review. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Thanks!